Yo, what is good, everybody? This is episode 133 of the Burton Burger Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Bert, and with me is Berg. Yo. Yo. You got a good one for you guys today? Uh, you got anything fun to to share? Start us off good or, or, or no? Or maybe? Or what do you think? Will Smith apologized for smacking the shit out of Chris Rock. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. That he was big. He says, I'm sorry. I thought he, he did goes, originally. My bear, my bear, my bear, come, my bear. My bear, my bear. That was kind of fucked up. <laughs> Oof. See, I thought he already said sorry originally. Now he's really like, fuck. I'm, <laughs> this is sunk in. Yeah, I'm really sorry. <laughs> so he did a YouTube apology. Which we all know and love. Those are honestly probably worse than <laughs> telling, like swearing off their entire family. Yeah, so Charlie from the official podcast made a video on this as well, and I watched the actual apology video as well. So okay, he he says that he he hit the, all of the check marks as far as YouTube apologies go. Saying he walks in slowly, sits down with a big sigh, stares right at the camera. Holy shit. Gets talking, yeah. Uh, Charlie says the only thing Will did incorrectly was um, not bring his dog in. Like <laughs> most other YouTubers do. I see. Yee. That's awesome. Yeah, Look at so. My pooch. I'm not an evil man. Look. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's not a lot to say. It was like a five-minute video or something like that of him answering some uh, fan questions, I guess. Huh. It, one of the questions was, why didn't you apologize to uh, Chris Rock during your acceptance speech? Okay, how did he respond? And, well, he was like, I was still foggy at the time and blah, 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 and... Whatever the fuck that means, but ah. Charlie Charlie was like, you, and I said the same thing. You could literally see why he didn't apologize. He was still pretty fucking pissed off <laughs> after it happened. He's he just not went. Sorry. He, he was. Charlie says, I, he, I, not verbatim, but he was like, he rushed the fucking stage like Triple H from WWE, <laughs> and then five minutes later, he's giving an acceptance speech on uh, the winning an Oscar. So you can you can see he wasn't you know, all ready for it just yet. Yeah, I'm sure that's that's a hard 180 <laughs> and kind of come back from. Yeah, and and Charlie goes in to say like he didn't even say I'm sorry to Chris Rock. He said I apologize to Chris Rock, and there is a difference, but I don't know. He kind of nitpicky for me at that point. A little bit, yeah. I get what he's saying though. Mm-hmm. Um, Definitely, some sort of remorse but, is there, I guess. But yeah, yeah. So. Don't really care. Um, nope. But, th- and then Will Smith said something like, after s- three months of thinking and understanding the whole in- situation and all the different aspects of it, and again, it's I, Charlie and I at the same time are like, it's not that deep, dude. It's really not. You Actually, smacked the shit out of somebody, and that was it. <laughs> like... It's not like you did voter fraud or something like that. Right. I mean, it's pretty straightforward what happened. Man made fun of man's wife. Man goes on stage, smacks man. That was it. That's the whole story. That's all you need That's to know. That's the story. Beginning, middle, you know all and, of it. and yeah. So I get that part too. It was a pretty decent apology though, I would say. But... Yeah, that's you're saying that's his YouTube of, one. Yeah, it, it was fine. I didn't really have any issues with it. Yeah, I usually don't either, but I know Charlie and other people are really good at tearing people new assholes. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, whether you can suss out if they're being sincere or not, I feel is like not necessarily tough, but like I don't know. Yeah. It's it's weird. It's always weird. Yeah, so that's what's uh, that's what's kind of been going on okay. uh, on my end. I just watched a video from my end. Um, have we 
I got some other entertainment news. Have we talked about the Elvis, the new Elvis movie with Austin Butler yet? Or I, I don't know. Remember. I mean, I saw it. Have you seen it yet? No, not yet. I'm kind no. of I'm on the fence if I want to see it or not. Oh, I see. So, uh, okay. I saw the Elvis movie for the fourth time on Friday. And this uh, time it was at the drive-in. I'm okay. And it was a little bit better than the last time me and my lady were there. The car didn't die and we had our own portable radio. Yeah. Um to listen to the movie off of, so that was better. It's funny though because um we went there. They had the DC Super Pets movie out there. Some if you can't tell by the name, it's a little fucking kids movie. Right. Um it it was pretty cool. I mean, it had the Rock and Kevin Hart in it and it was all DC material, so DC's like Superman, Batman, The Flash, Aquaman gotcha. stuff like that. So that was cool, but we get there and the speakers are just as buzzy. And we moved Perfect. to the other side of the field and there was like no buzz in them at all. So we still use the portable radio, but it sounded a lot better on the other side, I guess. Okay. Maybe that one side is just ass. I don't know. But me and my lady moved to the other side because we get there and this car pulls up next to us and it's really fucking close to her car. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe a wiener's length away if you're packing. Right. Not our wiener's length away. It wasn't that close, but... No, no. I mean, that'd be damn near collision. That, that'd literally be an inch away, but yeah. um, <laughs> they get out, and it's a bunch of teenagers, and they're like three cars of them, like side by side by side. Okay. And... um. One like one of the cars was driven by like a dad or something. It looked like so. I'm like, okay, at least the adults will keep the kiddos down. Somebody. Yeah. Well, then they start setting up camp in front of their cars. You can like put chairs in front of your car to watch the movie. Oh, I gotcha. And they started putting their chairs in front of our trunk. So we were huh. really starting to get uncomfortable here. First, they park really fucking close, and second of all, they start setting up shop in our little space. Like, and then oh. her and I go wait in the line for concessions, and then they come into line behind us, and they stand literally maybe a few inches away from my ankles. Can you guys fuck off? These motherfuckers like to live life close to their peers, I guess. <laughs> They're going to say on the edge. You're going to fucking kill them. Yeah, literally, I was getting uncomfortable. Were. And my lady was not... She was starting to say stuff about it too, and she's very chill and laid back. Uh huh. So the fact that she was starting to get antsy with it, it really shows you how close they were. They all had like hard British accents too. What the fuck? Like they were like foreign exchange students or something. I don't really fucking know what was happening. Huh. But where they're from. They must stand a lot closer than uh, where we do here in Arkansas, Bert. Oh, uh, yeah. Because I was not happy. They were not from so, around these parts. Yeah, so yeah. we ended up moving, and I, it was the smart move because we went over, and it was a lot comfier. And you can tell they were all excited, and this might have been their first time going to a drive-in or something like that, so having some cranky older adults next to them. Wouldn't, wouldn't have been, been fun, fun for them, yeah. and it would have been miserable for us, too, because there was, like, six or seven of them, at least. So we were like, nope. So we scooched on over. And Skedaddled. It was, yeah, we, we, we scooched over. So, yeah, no, uh, still cried at the end of the movie. Wow. Um, I've cried more in the past 30 days than I have in the past 30 years. In my whole life, yeah. Yeah, seriously. And uh, it was still just the ending that got daddy, but it was cool seeing it in the drive-in. I mean, the drive-in is like where you would should see that movie. Right. Um, but it was kind of shitty at times because like the you couldn't read everything because it was so far away. Like the small stuff, like a note that says he had to call his girlfriend oh. or something. Like you couldn't really read what was on the sticky note or something or at the very end of the movie when the words started coming up before the credits, yep. you couldn't really read those because 
the the lights were on and everything like that, and it was far away. So those were pretty much my only complaints of it, though. Other than that, movie was good. <laughs> yeah, I liked it. That's good. That's good. Lady liked it. She didn't have a whole lot to say about it, but damn. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you're. You know, you you've gotten the perspective of all the people. Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't really need to talk about the movie that much. Right. I know we brought it up before, but... Before, yeah. Only I will point. say I, cor- I incorrectly predicted something again. Uh, the Elvis biopic is now the second highest music biopic of all time now. Yeah. So I thought it was going to stop at four or three. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was definitely Fuck. wrong about another thing that I... I didn't even mean to make a prediction, uh-huh. though. This time around, I'm like, hey, it got it fourth. I'm happy with it here. I don't think it's going to get any higher. Wrong. Right. Wrong. Wrong, buddy. Yeah. So it's it's in second place now. It's at like 218 million. So. Hey, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, now uh, it's probably going to really start dying down here. I mean, it's been over a month since it's out. And uh, maybe when Oscar talk comes around again, it'll uh, just start generating some more money. But she's going to be wrapping up here soon, I think. But I also don't know shit about box office sales, as I've come to find out. <laughs> same, same. Yeah. One thing I did want to talk about, uh, something we talked about during our cuz night, is me and my lady were talking about crushes that we had on celebrities when we were Mm. younger yep and uh apparently austin butler the guy that plays elvis was a pretty big teenage heartthrob i guess back in the day yeah he was in like um oh god what was it it wasn't like the high school musicals wasn't it uh i don't know if he was in that but i mean he was in all sorts of shit like that like the zoe 101s or iCarly's or all of these different movies and shit like that uh, uh, for literally like teenage girl shit. And she was like, no, no, he was a pretty big deal back in the day. I mean, he would be like the guy where they would say, kiss, Mary, kill. And then they would name off like three guys or something. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, is that game similar to the guy game? Fuck anal blow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, yeah. yeah similar. S- same premise, same premise. Uh-huh. But... We were talking and just about the the celebrities mm-hmm. back in the day, and I don't know. I never really crushed on many celebrities growing up. The only ones I really did crush on were fucking guys. Okay. Kind okay, yeah. You're in the same boat there, buddy. Don't fucking. You would be like, yo, I would suck Master Chief off or uh, some gay shit like that. Big Negan. Negan wasn't when you were a fucking middle I know, schooler. exactly. I didn't do that shit when I was... I wasn't weird. You wanted to fuck thing. Crash Bandicoot. You think so? Probably. I I really wasn't into it either. Like, I, I know guys were, like, really into, like, Megan Fox and shit like that from Transformers. Uh-huh. And I thought she was pretty, but I... For me, as a kid, it wasn't special if a lot of people liked him. Like, Daddy wanted to like his own woman. Uh-huh. And it was Emma Watson from HP. So <laughs> that was pretty much it. That's like the only girl I actually liked. I mean, I liked Miley Cyrus a little bit when I was younger uh-huh. from like the Hannah Montana show. And I know I liked, uh, I think her name was Sam from iCarly the Blonde. Yeah. Uh, girl. Classics. I can't really think of anybody else. Now, I jerked a lot. I jerked a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, that's what I told my lady. I'm like, yeah, it really started switching from like celebrities to porn stars. Very quickly, honestly. Very fast. Yeah. No, I never knew like porn stars really by their name. I, I never even like thought about it like that either. Like, right? I never it's I never thought of it like a singer, like, oh, I like this song, so I should look at more of their work and see if I like them here. This is a classic. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a big one. Everyone knows who this is. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I, I really can think of Emma Watson as really the only girl I had a. I was crushing on pretty hard. I actually thought I could date Emma Watson too when I was younger. <laughs> I was like eleven years old, and I'm like, "Yo, I'm gonna I get know. her phone number, and I'm not gonna try to fuck her." 
I'm not uh-huh. going to try to eat her ass. I'm going to try to be a gentleman and take her on a date and treat her like a real woman. Treat her how a real man should when I was literally 11 and a half. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, so, which is funny. Let's see real quick. Uh, Emma Watson B-Day. Nope, not not uh, not not boyfriend. No, still not ready Don't for that. Don't need to see that. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. Um, nineteen ninety. She's thirty two. Okay, so holy old. She's uh, six years. She's six years older than me. So if I was eleven, she was almost eighteen. So yeah, probably wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> okay. And then I went back and I looked at my Instagram followers. Like, or oh, followers, shit. yeah, yeah, Lol. following, and I'm only following three females that are celebrities, and that's it. I was proud of myself for this. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. One was Emma Watson. One was Elvis's ex-wife, Priscilla, and the third one is Elvis's daughter. <laughs> so, okay. I used to follow Elvis's granddaughter, but I think she got him in, and I'm like, I don't want to see that. No thanks. Mm hmm. That's all it is. And then you're like, yep. oh. Yep. So, outside of that, though, and maybe uh, I used to like Jessica Elba when she was a blonde. Uh huh. No, really didn't crush over girls that much. I literally just nutted over them, and. We're done. That, that was about it. Yeah. That's I it. mean, my, uh, my big focus was on the girls in my class that I actually had a chance with. Yeah. Some of them, my chance was just as, you know, low as getting with Emma Watson, but still (laughs) a little bit more local. Yeah. 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 No, I feel that. Yeah. I can't say I, there's anything too memorable. I'm just fucking cartoon people. (laughs) I'm kidding. (laughs) I meant, I meant Nick. I bet you did think uh, some cartoon girls were hot. Oh, definitely. I I don't remember uh, too much, but uh, I remember there was a book one time, uh-huh. like a picture book. Oh, I when see. When I was in f- like in fourth grade, it was like a hand drawn picture, and it was about some boy being very nervous to see his principal or something or a teacher. Okay. And finally, he got to meet her. Cause he, the whole story is about how nervous he was and he didn't want to get yelled at and thought it was this mean, ratcheted old thing. Mm-hmm. And he walks in her office and it's a completely normal woman that's smiley and friendly. And I just remember thinking how fucking pretty that chick was. You're like, well, this is it. I'm like, wow, that principal's hot. <laughs> yeah. Because it was a thing where like I was older, like in fourth grade. So you would go to the second grade room and they would read to you and you would like. Ah, Tell them, oh, no, this is how you say this word or blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And I remember telling some fucking second grader, I'm like, yo, she's hot as fuck. Now listen, and he's this like is my pointing favorite at, book. Uh, he's like uh, pointing at something like this. I'm like, uh-uh. He's like, her? I'm like, yeah, dude, listen. daddy wants to clap them cheeks. <laughs> yeah, someday. That was my big one, though. I don't remember. That's good. Too much more. Huh. I also don't want to get too deep into it because then you start sounding like some of the official boys and how much like they, they were like how I was with Emma Watson, but like with um, Jimmy's mom from Jimmy and yeah. John. <laughs> yeah, it does sound like them. Or Piglet from Winnie the Pooh, so I'm just like. That's horrible. I don't like to get into it too much. Piglet, I mean, come on now. I'm pretty sure Piglet was a fucking dude, too, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's okay. I guess okay. it can look like... Or it can be a dude as long as it don't look like one. Yeah, right. Piglet was... De- oh, I guess there's Kanga. I guess you could stick it in Kanga's ass. Yeah. <laughs> Kanga's definitely solid. S <laughs> tier. That's so gross. Kanga's S tier. Dude, we should rank Winnie the Pooh characters... Based off of smash or pass or not, yeah. <laughs> All right, Bert, get another tier list going. Yeah, let's, this let's... seems dangerous. Winnie the I'm gonna do Winnie the Pooh characters. They're all gonna you be just six make a tier years list. old. Nah, dude, they're animals. We're fine. Okay, here oh. we go. Ready? 
isolate that. I got the Disney wiki. So here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take uh, Christopher Robin out because he's literally a six-year-old boy. Mm-hmm. But other than that, I think we can dive right into this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's only seven. Creatures? Creatures in Winnie the Pooh. I don't like that. Wow. What mental illness does each Winnie the Pooh character represent? Oh, interesting. So I guess we get to say we want to fuck depression. <laughs> That's meta. Um, what the fuck? Huh. Yeah, okay, well, this is going to be a... Yeah, I don't know any of these people. Madeline, Buster, Darby, Mama, Heffel, Lump. <laughs> Lumpy. Lumpy. Lumpy sounds Beaver, raccoon, nice. skunk, Santa Claus, the babysitter. There we go. There you go. Okay, here we go. We're going to assume that these are like... Uh, Love age. N- demons and anime where they're just like 6,000 years old. Okay? Oh, I see. Yeah. But, uh, 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 Bert, where would you put Winnie the Pooh? Um, in our tier list. I don't know. He's probably abundantly sticky. Probably like a, a B. You make it sound like sticky's a good thing. No, that's like bad. So yeah. why is he so high then? Well, I was going to say S because he's the goat, but but then it's like, nah, that's scary. I'm not a fan. Not well, a fan. it just depends. I think Pooh Bear's going to be a really good lover. Yeah, he's very cuddly. He's going to be a good lover. He's going to stay loyal to you. He ain't going to go cheat on you with other Pooh Bears. Nope. No other Pooh in the equation. But I feel like he's one of them chubby boys that has a tiny peen, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and no, overall, right. let's do like a, uh, yeah, we could do like a lover's playlist here. Uh, Pooh Bear, we'll put him in B. Next is uh, Tigger. Okay. Now, I bet you his sex game is next tier. Ass, easy ass. But I think he's too much of a spaz to be a good uh, at anything else. Yeah, he's just a... Fuck machine. Ah, that's horrible. Yeah, but he lasts like six seconds, I think. Oh, you're true, actually. You're right. Yeah, maybe Tigger could just be your uh, average lover. Average, yeah, he's like C or something. C, yeah. Now then, then there's our buddy Eeyore. Eeyore definitely is sporting a hog. He's probably sporting a hog, but he's just the one that lays there drunkenly. <laughs> while his wife rides it. Yeah. So, uh, just pisses and moans a lot. So, that might not be great. what's the lowest tier? <laughs> F. F. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Eeyore's a good lover. Sorry, Eeyore. He just reminds me of my drunk real father. Next is Piglet. Piglet's too wholesome. Yeah, you want to smash Piglet? I mean, I guess. We Gross. have to, don't we? No. Oh, we don't have to? No, I'm smashing Kanga. Oh, I see. But I guess Bert picks Piglet. Not nah, Piglet's cool. Piglet's a homie. Not really. What? You don't like Piglet? No, he's a fucking pussy. Piglet's cute. He's literally a pussy. Yeah, he's my favorite. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the whiny little fucking scaredy bitch is Bert's favorite. Yes. I'd put him above Eeyore, but that's about it. I put Piglet in D tier. Uh, yeah. Okay. Rabbit's an ornery old bastard. Yeah, Rabbit's kind of a dick, isn't he? Yeah. And I don't think he would. Uh, he probably beats his wife. Oh, yeah. He's not I, a good guy. Yeah, I would put him at worse than Eeyore. I mean, Eeyore might hang himself from by his tail, but other than that... He's not going to take you down with him, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Rabbit just seems like a dickhead. King goes S-tier, but that's without Rue, so... 
Because Rue's literally like two years old, and I'm not about that life. Correct. So, yeah, that would be correct. <laughs> I know it goes Kanga and Rue, but uh, no. Just Kanga, no Rue. Just Kanga, Rue gets to stay at home. Well, not at <laughs> home, because home's in the belly thing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the belly thing. Um, So she's asked here, where do you put Owl at? That fucking retard. Owl's like big brain. Exactly. He's like a he's got have a, Yeah, seriously. And I think his peen is smaller than Pooh's. He's like your friend Pretty Sue. Much guaranteed. Yeah. Pretty much guaranteed. We can put him in D tier as well, I think. I'm down. I'm down. Okay. That's the list because I'm not doing Christopher Robin. <laughs> okay. Understandable. That's, have a nice day. That's the list. Yeah. That's the squad, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think of our Winnie the Pooh tier list of uh, who we want to fuck the most? Let us know. Let us yeah. know. Let's see if there's anybody we're missing. I don't think so. I know there was like, yeah, there was like a some some DLC characters. Half yeah, yeah. Half a lump, half a lump, Junior. Gopher. I don't know any of these. Yeah, I'm not doing Gopher? Christopher Robin. Fuck off. God damn, it was just a joke. Just chill. comedy, chill. Chill. <laughs> There's our spontaneous Pooh Bear uh, tier list, though. Yeah, it's a classic. So it, we made two tier lists so far, swear words and Winnie the Pooh characters. Fucking A. Fuck. Markiplier did like a smasher pass for Pokemon, so we can't be too far off. Oh, that's okay then. Pokemon is very much a kid's show. Right. I'll, I'll agree with that, yeah. We just jumped into our furry side for a bit. Yeah. Not long and enough was to get it. trapped, but you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely dirty. didn't didn't like it. Yeah, yeah. Getting so a little lucky. Yeah. So there's our hentai, a rule hentai 34 corner. for the episode, yeah. Yeah. All right, Bert, what about you? I've mentioned it before. I'm moving in with some very, like, as far as I'm concerned, I know I mention it and you cringe, but uh, uh, very, I was going to say Chad, which is kind of the cringe part, not actually right, <laughs> but I'm moving in with some very oh, um, social Chad. people, I guess. There we go. Very, very, very social. Like, people will just randomly walk in their door without, like, knocking and just, like, hanging out and, uh, Kind of weird, kind of weird, kind of kind of weird, kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. So it's going to be very different from what I'm used to. Kind of like college, like kind of what like you college. should have been experiencing in your first year there, not your final. I know, this entire time. So I'm pretty excited. And uh, I guess the only communication I really have with them is like I fucking send memes to them occasionally. Like <laughs> the fucking shitty memes I send to you. Gosh, your memes have been really bad. They're, they like weird shit, though. I don't care what they like. I don't know why you would send me what they like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's just some weird... There's some good stuff. There's some good stuff out there. Uh, the moral of the story is that I'm not super, like, social. Or I guess I'm not super comfortable with being extremely social like these guys are. So I'm going to have to get used to that. And uh, I actually come from a very long lineage of of not great social socializers. Um, of pussies yeah yeah that's exactly it it also doesn't help that you like never went outside or did anything social growing up either true like that, that, I was that's not a really, big thing i was really forced to do anything a little bit like i did the choir stuff and i had to like do all that and i was okay yeah that, so but. being a male and the only thing that you've done is choir is kind of gay yeah that explains a lot <laughs> really does sure does yeah. <laughs> yeah. Choir's yeah. cool and all, but uh, saying that's like the only thing you were forced to do, yeah. Yeah, not like sports or anything. It's it, or Not even just sports, but like if you were like a drama boy or something and did all of that stuff. I see like, that nope. as 10 times gayer for some reason. Well, no, it's a, it's it's a niche. It's a part of a group of like uh, a certain type of people where they do drama uh, and they do improv and they do uh, choir and they do theater there was a lot of and overlap, all of that actually, shit. Yeah. But you literally just did one very specific thing, and that's it. And that that really explains why people 
every time they meet you, they want to beat the shit out of you. I'm like, huh? <laughs> Something's off about this guy. Mm-hmm. I can't quite put my finger on it. Let me guess. It, did but... you only do choir growing up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've never really locked down what I, my identity other than being a fucking epic gamer, I guess. But Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. You were very, very obsessed with video games growing up. Yeah. I remember asking you when we were babies, I'm like, Bert, what do you want to be when you grow up? I'm like, hmm, turtle farmer or GameStop worker. Yeah. Really content with either one, you know. I was just like, Gosh. yeah, I'm just going to chill. I'm going to clean discs all day. I'm going to be a salesperson. I'm like, I'm fucking around. Just being in the environment Gosh. of other. This is before YouTube was like popping off. I just like the environment of gamering, I guess. Yeah, Bert was six and he realized what environment he liked. Yeah, exactly. I still didn't even like, there's there's no rhyme or reason as to the profession that I chose to, which is pretty funny. Yeah. It just doesn't really make sense at all. It's like, oh, that's kind of Came across it and it's something you really like doing. I know. That's I'm it. like, damn, I'm kind of good. And then I'm like, fuck, okay. Uh, but yeah, so the whole reason why I'm bringing this up is because my family's all fucking gay, and <laughs> yes, we had a family gathering recently, mm-hmm. and uh, there was was this... it like the sixth birthday for the same person, or was it a different thing? It was uh, it was one of them, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, and uh, <laughs> and Bert's family literally has like three birthdays a year for Bert... one person. It's the weirdest uh-huh. fucking thing. It's bad. Literally, they'll have like a birthday party, and then they'll have something on the day of their birthday, and then a month later, they'll do something again for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Of just like close family. I don't. It's really fucking mm-hmm. odd. Yeah, we enjoy. We enjoy getting together. We we like excuses to hang out. I guess. Literally, it's the exact same people that you get together with every single day, but I you know. just put a fucking label on it for some reason. Randomly. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, it's a little different. And then when I hear like a lot of my friends don't really give a fuck about birthdays or anything like that, they're like, "Yeah, it's just another day, lol." And then I yeah, get all I care about birthdays. Uh, I get really pissed off at my mom when they make birth or when people don't make birthdays a big deal. I get it. I'm 26. I don't fucking need a little birthday party and everything <laughs> like that. But goddamn, quit telling me how old I am and how gay it is that I still want to do something on my birthday. Yeah, it's like of the 365 days, this is the one day that I get to kind of like do Tell what you, I mean. You're a <laughs> cunt. Yeah. That's yeah, gay. It pisses day. me off. Exactly. Like, I I really like birthdays, but your fucking family is on a whole different fucking level really, when it comes really to that shit. really likes them, yeah. So, we had one of our plethora of millions of birthday parties a year, and there's one of my cousins who's like, dude... He, I think I told the story about him being super fucking awkward before. He's like the kid at the party. He's talking about, I, I sell chainsaws at the local gas station and, and I do all this stuff. And he, he like went to school with this fucking weird, like he went to this weird private school and he went to this fucking party. Me, my brother and our cousin that we do cousin night with. Mm-hmm. we're just hanging out. We're talking in our little group. We're talking about dude shit. Okay. <laughs> talking about when cousin was shit. This? Was this at the wedding? No, this was actually, uh, this was at the ice rink actually, which I don't know if I talked about that either. He was there. Yeah. Or maybe we're not talking. The, the one dude was there. The ice rink. No. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm talking about the person. Yeah. My weird cousin. Where- Okay. Yeah, he was there, cause he's that guy's n- neighbor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So, whatever. He's there, and he comes up to the fucking group, and he pull he holds his hand out for like a little handshake. I'm like, all right. I go out for the handshake, and he fucking gives me the 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 little Weird. slap, like he's just stone stone solid gives me the little hand, and then he goes to, like, he does the, um, I don't know what you do it. Like, when you go for the handshake, and you kind of slap, and then you pull back, and then you punch the knuckles. You know, it's, like, like third grade. Yeah, kind of. But it's, like, cringe. 
<laughs> it was like it was like you just come up to somebody, salutations, brethren, <laughs> you know, and you fucking slap and punch. I thought it was a dap, mm-hmm. but it wasn't the one when you like pull in, and you hit shoulders. No, maybe it was dap. Yeah, it was definitely dap. Yep, and uh, it was like, dude, what's going on? Like, is that what he said? Like, he just stopped. Yeah, I just sat sat there. Like, I saw what he was doing. We're going through the motion. He's going to punch. And I'm like, nope. Take my hand away. <laughs> no, I should have. Nope, I let him do it to me. I, f- I felt kind of like I got touched. I let him do it to me. Yeah, I kind of felt like I got touched. <laughs> he just had his way with me in front of my cousin. Yeah, I, f- I felt like a retard. <laughs> I was, it, it honestly, it was, it was pretty gross. i like, really, dude? It's like he tries so hard to be like, it was, it's basically me back in the day. I don't think yeah. I ever did cringe shit like that. Maybe I did. Oh, you did a lot of cringe shit. I did a lot of weird cringe shit. Mm-hmm. But that's kind of weird. That's kind of like a. That's kind of like you talk to your dad, and your dad's like, "Ah, go get him, son. You do the cool things that cool kids do, like you dap, and you do all this other." It's like it's like an old person what trying to do. What the fuck did you just shit. say? I don't know. Oh, that makes sense. I don't know what, that. That makes sense. Yeah, the it's like first your parents way trying to be but... cool or something. Yeah, but it's in like the body of a person who shouldn't really have issues with this stuff. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, I I have my opinions on that individual. Um, <laughs> yeah, but um, no, the so when I I grew up in a very small town, I graduated with a very small number of kids, and. We, nobody ever, 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 ever dapped or anything like that. Yeah. Ever. That was not a thing. We barely shook hands. Well, I think it's also just because it's like a newer thing. No, it's been around for quite a while now. Um, It's more bigger in city areas and stuff like that. And, oh, I uh, guess certain... The- populations blowing it up you know i I used to blow it up when i was a kid you know so when i went to college and started playing football there there was that big brother like what's up kind of fucking thing Mm -hmm. and people were dapping all the time and i had no idea how to fucking do it. What is this had, newfangled invention? I had to have my black friend teach me how to do some slang here. Just back to back. I literally was like, I would go to shake so many people's hands. Uh-huh. I, I never, I never got it. Ever, ever got it. Like, I, I cannot understate how fucking awkward I felt and how often it happened. That's this kid, Be- I guess. Because this Aww. was months and months and months of football with over 100 guys, and they were constantly dapping one another up and doing all of these things and shit. So mm-hmm. then on Christmas breaks and shit or whatever breaks, you go back to the little town that I'm from, and then people go back to anti dap slash handshake mode. Uh huh. So now my brain's confused. <laughs> you have to bow at people. Yeah, literally, like yeah. we're in China. Uh-huh. So I remember this old timer guy, literally, you know, sitting there. He's like, "Sup, burger," and we go to shake hands, and I pulled them in and gave him one of them half hugs, and I don't think he fucking knew what I was doing. Dude was literally <laughs> yeah. like in his fifties, I think. Jeez, what are you doing? What are you doing, you fucking homo? You're hurting me. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. That's my big thing, and I never got, like, dude, I've played sports my whole life, and I've never got big into the high fives or the fist pumps or the dapping or anything like that or the chest bumps or any, like, I never got into it. Maybe it's because we lost all the time, so we never had really a lot of moments to where we could do that. Right. But, yeah, no, I it was, <laughs> it was very... Oh my god! Nah, I'm just thinking of the cringe right now. Holy yeah, shit. it's always so fun looking back at cringe. You're just like, oh. no, it's not. It's fucking miserable. I it's hate horrible. it. Horrible. So I, I'm a lot better now than I was. My big thing is 
is I very much over exaggerate my hand angle when I'm going in. So like if I'm going straight, like if my wrist is straight out mm-hmm. and I'm going straight in, uh, it's it's a handshake. But then a, a, a dap, I will angle my wrist to where my middle finger is like basically pointing towards the sky okay. when you're going in. You know what I mean? So your your fingers go from pointing at the person's like wiener, uh huh, or their midsection to like pointing straight up at their fucking nose or something. You know what I mean? I see. So then the exaggerated angle angle people can pick up on it a lot faster. Yeah, this is like a waist high. Yeah, this isn't right. waist waist high versus like. But it's the angle of the hand, like the hands, like the, I'm pointing right at them versus I'm pointing at the sky is the big thing. Yeah. So that makes a big difference, and it's it's helped out a lot. But it, again, I'm back to where we're from, so that doesn't really happen a lot around here. Uh-huh. But when my buddy comes from downstate, he always does it, and uh, daddy's got to dust off the cobwebs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Time knock to the rust off. Yeah. Yeah. So it's fun. No, I mean, when you get comfortable with it, it's pretty cool. But um, it's just not a lot of not enough people around here to do it with. Yeah, uh, my brother's always doing it to me when we're just like at parties. Yeah, you don't need to finish the sentence. Yeah, it's going to sound it's really weird. cringe. So anyways, um, you said something about getting cancer on here. I'm curious to see what could uh, give you cancer. <laughs> oh, shit. I yeah, it's forget. called open the fucking Discord and read your goddamn notes, you piece of Damn, shit. Damn, I forgot about this. Yeah, yeah, so so speak. This is so fucking perfect. I had no idea this was written in here. Uh, speaking of fucking hella extreme cringe bullshit that I used to do when I was a kid, mm. I used to do, I'm not going to recreate the sound, but when you kind of close the back, like okay, I was, I'm a big like sound guy. I like making different sounds, and I like doing accents, and I like doing all this weird manipulation of my my voice and such. Mm-hmm. Hence the choir and everything. So one thing I used to love to do. Is, hence the choir. Holy hence shit! The choir. I like doing accents and making funny so noises much. and and making funny fucking noises and shit. Hence choir. No, it's like choir. Like they teach you a lot of different ways to like manipulate your <laughs> throat. God, that sounds bad. God, yeah. a lot of throat yeah. exercises. Was it a Catholic and... fucking school that you went to as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's good. Um, it um, so yeah. One thing that I used to do, I was very annoying little kid, an adult, but more annoying little kid somehow. You'd close the back of your throat and you'd like suck air in, and it makes this God very shut up, holy shit. Sound. <laughs> Very high pitched squealy sound. I've heard that high pitched squealy sound before. Yeah, have you? You don't know sound I'm talking about. Should I do one real quick? Yeah. No, oh, no, I'm performance anxiety. No, it's like a. Can I do whistle? Mm-hmm. Right. You yeah. It's, it so it's sounds kinda... like you fucking stepped AIDS. on a fucking bat. AIDS, like, banshee screech kind of thing. And I used to do that all the time, like, just for no reason, just, like, walking out to the bus. I'd just be screeching all the time and and all that. And my mom used to just kind of say stuff. She's like, we were in the car one time, and I was just doing it randomly. And she's like, Bert, if you keep doing that, you're going to get cancer. <laughs> you're going to get throat <laughs> cancer if you keep doing that. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, oh, fuck. I do this all the time. I'm done for. I'm destined for (laughs) cancer. (laughs) Yeah. 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 My mom traumatized. Like, like, and thinking back on it, it doesn't really make sense in literally any way. So my mom bamboozled me. Yeah. She had to to reach in the purse. Yeah. She's like, well, what's going (laughs) to stop this little. I didn't. I doubt she didn't have. Yeah, I doubt she had to reach into anything. I'm I was sure for years. It was the first thing that came to her mind where she's like, hmm, what is this stupid motherfucker going to buy? <laughs> yeah. He's going to buy this. I know my son. Yeah. I know my daughter. He 
or she is going to buy this. <laughs> yeah, I don't mean like there was a, there was a lot of attempts. I mean that was like the first attempt, and it it worked. Mm-hmm. It's just like she was so fed up. I can't believe. Like even looking back on, I did, I remembered this randomly the other day, and I had to throw it in here. But yeah, she legit told me it was gonna give me cancer. That and if I cracked my knuckles too much, it would give me cancer too. Yeah, well, I mean, everybody was told that. Um, <laughs> so not unique, not funny. Well, no, um, that was something else. It was like arthritis, I think. Yeah, However, everybody was told you would get something if you did something to your knuckles, whether it was your butthole would bloat or you would fucking yeah. get arthritis. You blow your ass out. I mean. <laughs> no, I used to think stupid shit all the time. Like that's why I, I would the piss um, take a very minimal taste test of my pee. <laughs> yeah, gallons. Yeah, I used to say that. So you're like, remember I used to drink gallons of your own piss? <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was like, you know, it could turn me into Spider Man. Yeah, listen. Just doing what I've been doing, I haven't turned into Spider Man yet. So this is I gotta up try, with a try something. Uh huh. Yeah. And then um, I remember, like, the whole secondhand smoke thing. Like, if you're around people that smoke a lot, it'll make you want to smoke when you're older. Mm -hmm. So, like, I used to hold my breath all the time around cigarettes. (laughs) Yeah. Not because of the smell, but... Because you're like, I'm not going to stick to this shit. (laughs) Like, if, if I breathe this in, I will want to smoke someday. Uh huh. Um, which I think could be possible if you inhale a lot of smoke. Yeah, like if a parent like, does it, like in a closed car with you every day on your way to school, or they like blow it into your mouth every time. <laughs> yeah. Um, but other than that, I think the big thing is is just being around it and getting immune to it and just getting used to it now. Not necessarily just breathing it in to where your body wants nicotine or or something. Right. Things usually turn into very simple explanations <laughs> as you get older mm-hmm. kind of thing. You're like, oh, no, it was this or this. It's just like I remember one time I was on a ride, an amusement park ride, and I had glasses on, and my, I like, hit my head on the front of the fucking ride or something, and I heard a crack, and I swore pretty much swore to God for years after that my eyeball cracked. Okay. Like my eyeball itself cracked, and I remember some some guy on my school bus was like, yeah, I think it was the sunglasses, dude. I was like, nope, I took off the sunglasses and looked, I didn't see a single crack. Literally just felt thought my eyeball cracked. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... I'm trying to think of other things that uh, I thought, but I thought a lot of stupid shit when I was little, and I'm sure you thought even stupider shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there was a good one. My Okay, when I went camping with my grandma, uh, mm-hmm. and we were just walking around down by the lake, skipping stones, hanging out, and... Uh, Drinking booze, getting lit. Yeah. Yeah, just typical shit. And we saw these bugs. Like, I'm sure you've maybe seen dragonflies or or bugs. Uh, Never seen a bug in my life, I actually. You haven't seen bugs? Yeah. Never seen a dragonfly me. before? Damn. Never seen a bug. <laughs> an asshole. Well, so, no, I don't know if you've seen bugs fuck is what I was trying to say. I've seen everything fuck, Bert. <laughs> yeah, you have. <laughs> All right. Um, well, we saw some, uh, like, on top of each other on a leaf, and uh, they were, like, rock solid. Like, they wouldn't move. Like, they were dead. Mm-hmm. And my grandma just looked at me. She's like, well, Bert, take a note. This is what happens when you fuck too much. They fuck till they dropped. This is what your grandma told you? Yep. She literally told me. Dude, Grandma was wild then. Yeah, this is my other grand, my dad's mom, but still, yeah. but still, yeah. So that might make more sense. I don't know if our other grandma would have said something <laughs> raunchy like that. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not my other grandma is a horn dog for sure. Mm. Yeah. So my entire life, I'm like, okay, listen, Bert. 
one time's okay, two times okay, three times, you're probably going to die. Like three, your heart definitely stops and you die. Is she talking about like pounding a pussy and coming and then pounding another at pussy and coming and like that? Like what does she mean by one time? Like you can only have sex three times in your life and then you're done? Or? No, like in a day. That's what that's what my <laughs> rule was day. that I took away from. <laughs> yeah, no, she didn't tell me any numbers or anything. She just said that these bugs fucked until they died. <laughs> like they like did it so many like so quick that they, they died. probably did it ten thousand times though. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, in a in a window of time, Mm -hmm. but but still, and it like it stuck with me. I'm like, fuck, okay. Mental note. At a young age, I'm like, listen, if this ever happens, which I'm that's why you're still a virgin. Yeah, like I'm gonna die. Literally, the only reason. That's it. I just need to debunk, and I'm like, fuck, okay, here we go. Wheels are coming off. Yeah, that was a weird one, though. That one really drove my. That one drove me for a while. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah, no, I I got um I got other ones, but I know one I asked my dad, I said, Why do we have pee pees? Like <laughs> like what do we have pee pees for? And he goes, Well, I guess it's so we have something to piss out of. And I say, Why do we have butts? And he goes, <laughs> Well, I guess it's so we have something to shit out of. <laughs> and I'm like, Very hey, eloquent. you could sit on it. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, you could sit on it. Fucking quit touching me or something like that. Right. Get away from me. A little weirdo. A yeah. little gremlin. <laughs> Who the fucking let you in? <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Man. No, nah, that's good. Fucking stupid kids. See, and then you see shit like The Walking Dead. You have this little girl with a gun. She's thinking dumb shit, dumb thoughts like this. Like, okay. Mm-hmm. Cheyenne, whatever your name is. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah. seriously. I've been playing the new Spider-Man game, the Miles Morales one. Yep. And uh, I don't like it at all. And before people start writing articles on Burger talking about this. You being about racist. A, about a video game that has a... Yeah, a black protagonist. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's a, like a little kid. Like, even in his voice, it's all like high pitched and like excited all the time. It's kind of fucking annoying. And yeah. I, I get it's a kid. Like, it's kind of the it, idea, but. It, it is, but they don't have to make it so cringy, I guess, is, is my point. Like, one of my favorite things about. Because it's Spider Man's Peter Parker, and then Miles Morales is the. Uh, the other one and uh mm-hmm. i loved peter parker's quips and things like that while he was kicking ass like he actually said some pretty like chuckle stuff i could say like, right <laughs> that's pretty good and then miles morales is like you're never gonna bully anybody ever again rhino yeah like shit like that. Come on. That's when you just get right. Like you read the subtitles, and before he even speaks it, that's when you turn the fucking PlayStation off. Uninstall. Yeah, yeah. cool. That's what I mean by stereotypical kid stuff. Kids can be cool. Kids can be normal in movies and TV shows. But when you give kids too much power or too much fucking, uh, I don't know. It just I hate it. Like yeah. I literally cannot stand it. it and it's like an adult writing it. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. okay, it's a game made for everybody. Okay, so it's not a children's game. It's not like Dora the Explorer, the video game, right? Right. It's rated T for everybody or teen, teen and up or, or whatever. whatever it is or. Like, Mario is a game for everybody, and you don't have, like, any fucking cringy child shit in there. You know what I mean? Right. Like, like, why can't more things be more for everybody there? It'd be one thing if I went to, like, and saw Despicable Me and talked about how gay the kids were in that movie. (laughs) It's not made for me. It's, It's a children's movie. Right. So that's why, like, in the Marvel, the most recent Thor movie that we saw, 
when kids act like little kids, it's like, oh, well, it is, you know, for kids. Well, no, it's for everybody. Yeah, they kind of want a little be hard normal. on it. Yeah, no, dude, I've heard some really bad things about this movie. That yeah. Thor Love and Thunder. Yeah, I've heard it's one of the worser Marvel films. It could have been pretty sick. It it had potential. They just really went hard into the woman thing and the uh, kids thing. Yeah. The two things I hate on this world the most. <laughs> yeah. Women and kids. Yeah. What the hell? I honestly had no idea that it was a fucking chick from before with that mask on. She just looked like a, she looked pretty stupid, but. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of cool female Marvel characters. I loved Captain Marvel. I still yeah, see I didn't absolutely nothing wrong with anything and in that movie. Literally, everybody disagreed with with. You I on don't that. know how, but she is an example. Like, she's a cool character. I like Captain Marvel. I hated her movie, but I I like Captain Marvel. I like Black Widow. Uh, I'm trying to think of other ones. Uh, I like. That uh, aren't- white dudes yeah um uh, there's a lot of females in that movie or that franchise that i like but you don't have to make them so over the top like this i don't know so that's what i was saying with this miles morales video game is just really over the top with the kid shit i yeah there's definitely that element of it's a young kid going through his life trying to figure it out, which I get, but Peter Parker was always a young high schooler, and he was never cringy. Like, they did him nicely. Like, I never thought uh, Tom Holland's was too over-the-top kitty or anything like that, like, too cringe for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because all the Spider-Mans are supposed to be younger, right? Yeah, they're, they're – yeah, every – one of them started out with them in high school. Yeah. Going to college. So um so like they you can do it right. You can. They just I don't know if it's a fad or something to go over the top with the kids or <laughs> what, but I don't every, know. everything with children and Lo- Thor Love and Thunder was exactly what I hate about kids in the cinema. <laughs> it's literally what I hate. Yeah. There's a guy at my work who saw it, and he's like, dude, I kind of low-key love the part with the kids. I'm like, huh? He's yeah. like, that part when he gave them all power, superpowers and stuff, that was sick. I'm like, uh, okay. Yeah, he might be one of those you're weird. special people that you work with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're weird, buddy. The game's still fun. The combat's good. The web swinging's awesome. The story's interesting and all of that, but I just don't like... Those moments. Uh, my, they did uh, Into the Spider-Verse, which was that completely animated Spider-Man movie they made a handful of years ago. I heard that was incredible. Th- that was amazing. They And there's a bunch of kids in there, and they did fine with that. And so, I don't know. It's okay. It's also pretty much the exact same game, too. It's not like a separate game. It, like Charlie said when he d- talked about it when it came out, it literally could have been a DLC. Yeah. So... I feel like Spider Man's are almost like Assassin's Creeds. It's like you you get it for the crazy movement and for like the fighting. They're all kind of similar. Kinda, but there's not a Spider Man movie every other year though, like there is with Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Like this this one from Insomnia was the first one in a long time. Yeah. I just mean like the format, I guess. Yeah. No. Now, let me tell you, the original one, the one that I played on the PlayStation 4, goes in my top 10 video games of all time. Okay. Like, I fucking love that movie, or that video game. That was a very, very good fucking game. Gotcha. And and I literally loved it. Gotcha. Good. Thanks for the feedback there, Bert. Yeah, I don't really know anything about it other than it has a red guy. A red guy, huh? And he swings, yeah. Yeah. I really like that game and all of everything about it and the story and the extras. And it made me actually want to unlock all of the shit. And I found stuff super interesting in it. I I really liked it. And and they did a good job with it. Um, This one's literally just, yeah, pretty much the same thing though. They do have another Spider-Man, like a Spider-Man two coming out. Uh huh. And uh, that's like an actual, sequel versus like this 
It's it's almost like this Miles Morales one's like Assassin's Creed China or India or Russia it's or just something a total, like, like that. offshoot. Yeah, it's like a little offshoot. It's not like a separate game. It's in the same universe, but it's also not the exact same game. Like it's not going from Odyssey or Origins to Odyssey or Odyssey to Valha- Valhalla. Yeah, but it's like a in betweener kind of. Quest. It pretty much is like it's. It could be a DLC. Yeah, I gotcha. Still got you. Yeah, still got you. I'm following along. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks. I think. Bert. I think the only game I got like really super well, the only quote unquote one game that always comes to mind of me getting super duper into is like all the Lego Star Wars games. Those things I got like, you know, trying to go for hundred percent. This when you mentioned that I'm like, damn. Okay. Yeah, that was like in the era of when I was developing my mind to the point where I knew like numbers meant something, I guess. I don't know. What the fuck are you talking I know, about? I was like starting and I'm like, oh, this sounds good. And then like it went downhill because I'm like being gay, but. You didn't know what numbers were when you were five years old either? No, I mean like I'm amazed I got as far in Crash and all those other games in I used to life. play. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, eating dog shit and swallowing magnets and shit. I mean, I was a little fucking gremlin, but <laughs> yeah, I was a dipshit for sure. I don't remember. This is the first like, time I've ever heard you talk about Lego Star Wars video games. I fucking love those games. Yeah, that was just in the era, I guess, where we there's like there's like voids <laughs> in each of our each of our lives that we don't really know too much about, I guess, but. Well, the new Lego one came out, like the Luke Skywalker Sega or whatever came out a year yeah. or two ago, and you were talking about playing it with me, and you never even said it then either. Well, yeah. I, it's because I've been playing with my other buddy. No, you you brought it up playing it with me, and I said, no, it sounds fucking gay. I don't I know I Lego wanted Star to. Wars. I like, great. And you didn't even say anything about you enjoying these games when you were younger. Yeah. Like you normally do with shit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it didn't come to mind. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I played like literally all of them. I played all the Batman ones too. Those ones are well, not all of them. I played one of the Batman ones. It was pretty cool. Those are all those fucking solid games, dude. Solid games. They were good. Hmm. Yeah. So talking about pronouns. <laughs> yeah. Something that's actually interesting to talk about. Mm, for debatably. Our final conversation. Oh, pronouns are always fun to talk about. For you know intellectuals. That. Oh, trust me, I know. In B and B context, it is yes. <laughs> yeah. So I <laughs> yeah. got a. There's this oh. thing somebody sent me about something I can do to get my student loans forgiven if I get selected for it or something. That's like a lot of cock. <laughs> and I would too. A lot. Um, oh, sure would. Um. <laughs> It was something that you fill out and send in and everything like that. So I go to the website, and I don't think I'm appropriate for it, like reading the things that you need to do, do be doing in order to. Yeah. It, it, it's like working in a specific area. I don't fucking I know. I did hear but, about that, yeah. Yeah, well, this is specific for my like work population. Oh, uh, yeah, I heard, like, stuff of, like, you work for the government or something, but... Well, yeah, they've been doing that since the 20s, but anyways... Oh. Um, the point being, uh, I was like, I don't know if I fit this criteria, but I'm going to send it in anyways, just just to see. Uh-huh. I've, I've already lost this dark. much. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, uh, I start filling out the forms, and... There's two different forms you got to fill out, and I do it, and I answer all these questions, and some of them I don't know the answers to, and that's my favorite part, so you start throwing in random shit <laughs> just because it's like, no, no, you have to do this before you move on or whatever. So Listen, motherfucker. I, I'm just putting in random information. And then I go back to the website after they're done. There's no there's no submit button or anything. Nice. Like You had to download like two Word docs, and then that was it. They're like, if you have any questions, send it to this email here. And I'm like, hey, my question is, where do I fucking submit this shit? (laughs) Yeah. Like, usually they're like, upload it here or send to this email. There was nothing. They're like, complete these forms, and if you have any questions, let us know. I'm like, okay, it's done. 
Yeah. So I send it to this email, and it's like literally like a state email. Like I'm like, yeah, right. Like oh, these motherfuckers shit. are going to respond to me. Uh-huh. And uh, sure enough, they did like a week later. And they're like, hey, Burger, if you want to do this, these are the steps. And she sends me like 12 steps that you have to do to submit these fucking things. Yeah, I feel like half of the things that they're doing that, they're like, if we send him a 12-page document, there's no way he's going to read it, right? He's just going to fuck off. Yeah, yeah, so then we don't have to pay for his loans. I don't fucking know. But I'm like, I sent him, I sent them to this email. I'm like, hey, don't know where these are supposed to go, but... Just in case, here they are. If I got to send them somewhere else, let me know. And she's like, a week later, tells me what I have to do to, to send them out. And I, I, she might have responded after the deadline, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah. The deadline was pretty tight. Um, That's neat. That's probably why she finally responded. Anyways, um, that wasn't even the important part. The important part was... It was her name and then her pronouns of she, her, and hers. And I just thought about this. I mean, we this was right before I walked into Planet Fitness. I was reading this email. Okay. And I'm like, why do they have to have all three of them there? Correct. Like, uh-huh. why can't you just say she? And then it's like, just implied the other feminine. The other pronoun, two the are there. Like I don't understand. First of all, like I don't care if someone's gay. I don't care if someone practices a different religion. Like none of that cares. The one thing I don't like is the the gender thing. Like I I, I really don't fucking care <laughs> about that. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like if you want to be a tranny or switch sexes, whatever, that's fine. But if you are a perfectly normal person, you know what I mean? Uh huh. And you're like, mm, I'm gonna be a boy, but I'm not gonna do anything about it. I'm not gonna change my name. I'm not going to do anything legally, and I'm not going to get the surgery. But you will call me a boy now. Yeah, yeah, that's a fun one. So like, that's okay. that's the weird one again. Like I said, if you get the sex change and do all of that shit, or or like changing your body, I don't give a fuck. Like really, but if you're like. If I'm like, Bert, you will call me Bergetta today. Uh huh. And I will be offended every time you call me Burger. Uh huh. Every time you stray from what I have in my head, you. Uh, will yeah, exactly. Will That's pay. where it's cringy. It's just like I have rules in my head that you must follow. It's like, fuck you. Yep. That's so, my favorite. Yeah, that's the one that, that, that triggers me the most there. So. Uh, if people want me to call them something, I'll be like, I'll, I, I'll, I'll be respectful for it. You know what I mean? I'm not but gonna be a dick. Yeah. I'm not gonna be. Like, mm, no, you're a boy. Um, mm, fuck you. But it's, yeah. But it's still like, if people call me out on it, I'll be, I'm gonna be pissed. But the, the thing that, like, they have to say like every single version that she could possibly be. What if it was? It. What if it was like he hers? That's his. what I was thinking. Yeah. That's why I brought this up. I'm like, do they think it's gonna be she his they or something? <laughs> yeah. Like in this, this remix is bitch. Yeah, really literally. Like that's what they're fucking going for. It's just like, do do you honestly think that I think like do I call you she here, or do I call you uh, uh, she? Or hers here, or is it his is here, or or oh, are you they them now? Like is you is a they? <laughs> well, <laughs> is we? <laughs> yeah. Well, now ain't <laughs> we then? Aren't we? <laughs> like, oh my god! Like, why do you have to? <laughs> well, what is you? Like, I don't. <laughs> what is me? Me yes. is we is they? Yeah, they <laughs> is we, and I is she. Yeah. Like, oh my god, like oh man, the <laughs> only awesome. time Yeah, I mean uh I don't the pronouns thing is just so fucking weird and it's just like a bubble that you're making everyone else follow kind of thing. And I don't like it. Uh because I'ma fuck it up and then I'm gonna look like an asshole, okay? It's like when I said Arab in college instead of Arab. <laughs> like, yep. Like, damn it. And then I feel like an asshole. 
Yeah. Especially because the professor was a Middle Eastern as fuck. <laughs> yeah. That sucked. So I mean, the president did it, so you don't got to feel too bad. <laughs> yeah, well, anyways. <laughs> the only time, like, telling me what your pronouns are, like, when, it, what, when it's beneficial is, like, when you join our Discord, I would like to know if you're male or female kind of thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And maybe in an email... It's not the worst thing because I don't want to be like, yeah, so I was talking to uh, my boss about Bert, and then they said, well, what did he say in regarding to Bert when Bert's actually identifying as a female? Uh So now I'm going to piss him off. So, like, it's good to know who I'm talking to if I'm talking to a male or a female. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've even just, like... Like, when I call in, I don't, like, like now I'm having to think, I'm self-conscious when I call in a pizza place. Hey, do you guys have, uh, like, hey, hey, do you guys have the uh, buffet open mm-hmm. at, you know, Chinese place? Mm-hmm. So now I'm like, hey, is the, but like, you got to fucking think about all the stupid shit. Or you just don't. I've just reverted back. There was a time when I, like, when it was start starting up, I'm like, I'm only doing they. I mean, I never told myself this, but it's, like, not a hard thing to do. Oh, when you talk to people, you mean? Yeah, like, I do they at this point. Like, I, I do they just naturally. I thought you were going to say for you. Yeah. I've pretty I'm only going by they. they. I'm only a they now, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They made us do that for Zoom. You had to do, like, <laughs> he, them, he, hi, he, ho, fi, fi, fo, fum. Yeah, fi, fi, fo, fum, seriously. <laughs> yeah. God damn, like. If I make fun of your race, if I make fun of your religion, if I make fun of your family, get pissy about that. But if I accidentally, I, I mean, I, I, I literally had, when we were at Memphis, somebody said yes, sir, to my grandma. And that one's weird. The guy was like, oh, I am so sorry. You can come over here and slap me if you want. Like, cause yeah. he was like talking to me and then my grandma said something. So his mind was still on me and said, sir, to her. And she's like, well. You can shoot me in the face if you want. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Like, I lay down my life. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right in our hotel room after he fixed our TV. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, my grandma's like, nah, you're fine, bro. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. My grandma didn't give two fucks. But that happens all the time, like, where I'm just talking and I accidentally call somebody something, like, without even thinking about it. And most of the time, you guys probably don't even notice. Yeah, I mean, or even if you do, most people don't really fucking make a big deal out of it. Yeah, like... I mean, I was called a miss once when I held the door open because I have very <laughs> long hair. And I've I gotten that from my I just, voice. I turned around and eyeballed them. That was Yeah, no, I got it for my one. voice one time on the phone. And I'm like, uh, it's not me. I'm, and they're like, oh, I'm sorry. You just have such a sweet voice. And I'm like, yeah, my voice does not sound feminine at all. Yeah, if like, the even people... Like, even a tiny bit. The pod listeners can tell. Yeah. On the phone's one thing, because maybe the quality comes in weird. Dog shit. Yeah, so that... But I'm like, yeah, I don't I don't care. So, I know. I don't know. That just... However, I just thought that was interesting, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I do got to say, I do love when people call me sir. I'm like, you got it right, baby. Well, the only time people really notice is when they got a ma'am and a sir mixed up by accident, like this guy did in her hotel. Yeah. Like, sir and ma'am is, like, the only one people seem to notice about. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I feel like you got a lot more shit going on in your life to where if you get that pissed off over those things, <laughs> that yeah. you should really focus on other things that are causing you to be that angry in the first place. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. thing. So it's just it's just weird. I don't know why. Like people can do what they want and they can think what they want and all of this stuff, but uh, and that I really don't care. I truly don't. But I think it, maybe it's because it's when they're putting these rules on me now, kind of thing. Uh huh. Like that's when I'm like, okay, don't tell me how to live my life, buddy. <laughs> like I'm going to be respectful, and if I know you identify as one or the other, I will call Try you my those. damnedest 
Yeah. I will call you those. But uh-huh. if I'm just talking and I accidentally say something and you get pissed off about it, it's you might as well get pissed off at me mispronouncing a word or something because I'm dyslexic. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I didn't yeah. fucking mean anything by it. And like fuck, I'm not perfect. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Just. my bad. But yeah, no, it's just it's just funny. I I got an email that from that person. And she's like, she hers and they, or she's hers and she's, or whatever. Or I don't she's at. I don't fucking remember. Yeah. But I'm like, why do they have to put all three in there? That's the part That's that so I dumb. don't get. Yeah, why yeah. all three of them? Who the fuck knows? If they did like. I don't know, he, him, like he slash him or something, she slash her, whatever. But the fact that they had to put like all the versions of it in there. Yeah. And they all. They slash them slash those. Yeah. It's like a packet. They all go together. Yeah. Yeah. You can just say she's and that's it. Yeah. He's and that's it. Yep. I, I don't need. It's like it's like oh just in case you're stupid this is the plural version of girls when it's a possession noun this is what it looks like yeah it's like thanks I don't know if it's like that because of like the advanced like the S tier um <laughs> pronoun or S tier genders have like <laughs> three different ones that are like really whacked yeah. like probably isn't the right word uh very different <laughs> <laughs> whacked yeah. Yo. <laughs> kind of retarded, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, they're a little different. Yeah. The Z's are in Z's and Zim's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just like how easy it is. Like, can I literally be like, I'm a female now and just walk into the girl's bathroom and everyone has to respect it? I know. That's my favorite. So I, that, I, that's the, I guess that's why it's like it's so simple anybody can be like mm, I'm a boy today <laughs> <laughs> ah you know what feeling <laughs> yeah yeah I'm feeling like a bitch today so yeah. I'm gonna be a female <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> that's bad <laughs> yeah <laughs> nah I do feel that though that's true yeah no it's just it's too simple too simple but also too complex. Yeah, yeah. No, it's yeah. just like flick of the hat, flick of the <laughs> flick of the peen, flick of the wrist. Yeah, I'm gonna sit down and pee today. Yeah. If you're gonna do it, you gotta go. You gotta get your fucking thighs cut off and put your cock on. Mm-hmm. I think that's how they do the surgery for girls or something. I think so. Yeah. Or you gotta get your Peter tucked in, or uh, yeah, you gotta go for it, darling. Yeah, you can do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel ah, that. that's bad. Yeah. Yes, sir. I remember we talked about raising money so we can uncircumcise you. Yeah. Like get skin stitched back onto your wing. <laughs> yeah. And my cousin, the one that constantly says I'm scamming people with the county things. Uh huh. Every time we bring up the counties, he talks about how much of a scammer I am and scam this and scam that. And then all of a sudden he's like, what you could do is you could make up some like GoFundMe because people go crazy over those and just get a bunch of money like that and spend it on whatever. And I'm like, say his name was Steven or something. I'm like, hey, Steven, that's a scam. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. That's literally a scam there, gorgeous. Yeah. Like, (laughs) listen, okay. Not comment your county if you would like to see your county colored in. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was nice. He just really dropped it in. Fucking yeah. definition of a scam. Yeah, literally. You just provided yourself with an excellent example of what a fucking scam is. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, yeah, boy, I really thought that was going to be an ending conversation, but we got like 10 minutes out of it. Wow. Who knew we we're so passionate about pronouns? The sexes. Yeah. Other than that, remember, guys, it's just comedy. Please fucking <laughs> chill. Yeah. Chill. Oh, yeah. Calm fucking down. Relax. And just remember, we are trying to bring a little bit of the family element to the podcast world. That's all we got. We're streaming on Mondays and Fridays now. Hope to see you guys on Monday and Friday. Oh, yeah. Talk to you guys then.
See ya. See ya.